here we are asked to determine the decay constant for berkelium-246, which has an atomic number of 97, mass number of 246, and undergoes an alpha decay with a half-life of 1.80 days. So with that information in mind, we're asked to determine the decay constant K. So to be able to solve this problem, we have to first remember the relationship between the amounts that we have at certain times, the decay constant, and the time that has elapsed. And the appropriate equation is an integrated form of a differential equation. The amount at time t is equal to the amount at time 0 times e to the negative k times t, where the decay constant that we're solving for is this k right here. And the t that we want to use is the t1 half, the half-life of 1.80 days, which we'll substitute in here. So the key to solving this problem is to realize that the amount at time t is one half of the amount at time zero when we're talking about a half-life. That is the definition of a half-life. The amount of time it takes for 50% of the material to undergo radioactive decay. So with that being said, we can say that one half is equal to e to the negative k times 1.80 days, which is our t. Now, taking the natural log of both sides, what we see is that ln of 1 half is equal to negative k times 1.80 days. And solving for k by dividing both sides by negative 1.80 days. So we're going to take this value here plus the negative, divide both sides by that. And using our calculator, what we determine is that k is equal to 0 0.385 days to the negative 1, which is our decay constant k that we were looking for.